So, the National Optimal Tariff. Now, in the last section, as I described here, we saw that our, our government imposed a tariff of six dollars. But this tariff didn't um, actually make the country better off, it actually made it worse off. So, um, is the tariff that maximizes the well-being for a large country the answer? No. The best tariff is the one that creates the largest net gain for the country imposing it. And, according to the graph we just about it, we're going to about to see, that tax is 50. Or, is the the tax the tariff that actually maximizes the area represented by E, which is the government um, net on tax earnings, and B plus D, which is the dead weight loss of overproducing and the dead weight loss of underconsuming. So, the optimal power rate maximizes the differences between the extra gain represented by the area E and the extra loss represented by B and D. Now, um, to find this, you will have to actually find the marginal cost curve coming out of the supply curve and extending it and see where it intercepts the demand curve, then putting it down and finding the 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 calculations for this and then matching it with this and finding the area uh, I could show you guys how to do it but you um, really don't want to know <laughs> um, it's very advanced micro and you have to do first of all you have to know calculus the first derivatives and it's really hell which you guys won't do unless you're actually planning to become uh, doing a masters in economics or a PhD now in the small country case this only happens in the large country because you have the supply curve which is not perfectly elastic in the large country the LSS reply is perfectly elastic and the optimal what is the optimal tariff rate is actually zero or none you cannot have an um, optimal tariff because you can't detect the the foreign export supply you're producing now um, the effective rate of protection this is something that everybody should know it's simple it's really easy it's not hard at all value added is the sum of the wages paid to labor rents paid to landowners and profits and returns paid to the owners and pro pro providers of capital if you see my video on the actual in theory you know this is super easy now the value added per unit is equal to the price of a unit of output minus the unit cost of the components and materials used in producing that output. So, um, the effective rate of protection is the percentage by which the entire set of nations trade barriers raises the industry's value added per unit or simple the new value added minus the old one divided by the old one. How do you find a percentage of something? Now, there's two important points. Um, a given industry income of value added will be affected by the trade barriers on its inputs as well as the trade barriers on its outputs. You just have to remember this. And this, uh, if you want, the effective rate of protection will be greater than the nominal rate when the industry's output is protected by higher tariff than the tariff its inputs. Just, just a little rule to the exceptions, but don't worry about them. Here you can see what we're talking about. The um, effective rate of protection is the change in the share of value added after the tariff. So, V prime value added the new one minus the old one divided by the old one. That's how I tend to remember. That's the effective rate of protection. No. Let's say with free trade, you have a value added of 80, right? And the unit price of a bicycle is 300. So, 300 minus 80 equals 220 which is the unit of materials and components of inputs which you will need to do the bicycles now let's say a 10% tariff on bicycles and a 5% tariff on inputs so 10% tariff on the bicycles which were 300 will now, will now equal 330 right and now um, 330 and now a $5 input on the 220 which will equal 231 now 330 minus 231 equals 99 exactly let me check if that's correct yep that's correct and that will be your new value added now to find the um, effective rate of protection you just 
um, take the new V prime, the value added, 99 over 80, the minus 80 over 80, and that will equal 0.2375 or 23.75. Simple enough, huh? Super easy. This is something, a little bit of history. The World Trade Organizations, or WTO, it, um, it oversees the global rules for government policies towards international trade. More than 150 member countries established in 1995. Um, it succeeds and subsumes the General Agreement on Tariff and Trade, Interim Agreement in 1947 after the World, War, the world Wars. <laughs> And the principles on the reductions of barriers of trade, non-discrimination among countries, or the F MFN, and no unfair encouragement to exports. This is a really good um, World Trade Organization, and this especially the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, which actually made Germany after the devastating war, with the super economy it is now. So, thanks for watching. Any questions on... Um, Feel free to comment and please subscribe.